All right, guys, before we get into the Bitcoin video, just real quick, just a reminder here that we are running this contest that uh, this will go for the next, oh, we're going to do the drawing on March 20th. So there's plenty of time here to really crank up the number of entries. So we're doing, it's a giveaway. We're giving away two, two months of membership. That's $400 value. Second, second place is one month, $200 value. Third place, two weeks, $100 value. So $700 in membership giveaway. Very simple to enter and participate here. So you do need to come here. The link will be directly underneath this video. You'll see membership giveaway. You click that. Now you do have to register. You just have to put in your, your email address. So I mean, damn near oh, main reason being if, we, if you won, we'd want to be able to contact you. We're not going to spam you with a bunch of shit. So, and then you, you'll need your Twitter handle. So it all ties to likes, retweets, shares on Twitter. So every time you like, share, retweet, that gives you a new entry. Now, th this is showing zero entries because this would be as though I were going in for the first time. Obviously, I'm not in it. So there's 26 days left. So we've got thousands of entries already and they will continue to climb. But again, it's very easy to get a dish to improve your odds. And we hope that the reason you're liking, sharing, retweeting is because you think your network might might appreciate the content. That, that's what we hope anyway. So it's also, you'll find this over on our Twitter feed. It's a pinned tweet right at the very top. So if you have any questions about it or and if for whatever reason aren't clear about how it works, uh, you can find all of this information. That same link will be here as well. All right. So, well, I, I won't bombard you with this, but while uh, uh, while we're getting this launched here and going into the weekend, I figured I'd just give you one one more reminder for the week. All right. So with that, let's uh, let's get started. Look on uh, at Bitcoin. All right, guys, how are we doing? Sam here with you. It's Friday, the 22nd of February. We're, of course, on a Friday, we'll do an update on Bitcoin here. So it, this will be relatively short. There's not a lot to add. Uh, there's a few things here I want to point out. Now, in the last video, I think it was Wednesday, we had laid out a potential bullish case here on the, on the possibility that, that, we, that we've bottomed here and that we've just gone into a one, two, and now we're trying to get started on the one of what would be the third relative to that larger scale. Well, of course, we cannot eliminate the possibility here that all we're doing is we're, st we're still in a triangle here, whether it's here or here, that we're still just working through this, the possibility here, well, whoops, wrong one, that, where do I want, here we go. So that I, we, we're doing something like this. So A, we've got an A, B, C here into a B. We're go, we've gone and put, it, put up the C here, come down for the D, then we go for the E, and that sets up the move down towards potentially some of those lower targets, 2200, 2600, they're, Algo polls that have both of those as targets. It, it so you know you look at this and, and of course we want we want to be bullish, but there's there's a few things working against the bull count here. Well, one, you can see here just the market geometry. We have this, the upper parallel here from this pivot, which is the lower of the two. Well, additionally, and I just, I just showed this over on Twitter. If we grab this pivot here and we work down, let's get to the lower one here. I think I'm right on that. Yeah, it's yeah, close enough. You see here, so we, we've had this intersection. So we have this nice confluence of geometry right here. So we get the, the two median lines. Well, we'd have, pardon me, we'd have a center median line here and then the upper parallel intersecting right here. So not terribly surprising that we've run out of steam. Now this, of course, this can move. There's all sorts of places that can go. So let's take that off for now. But I just, I show that, that, so this will be the next significant resistance we're going to need to get through. So we can break 4,200 and get, get through it with some, some gusto here. Then the, uh, the possibility here that we're just putting in a, a one of the three is going to start to look better. Well, here are a few negatives. So let me, let me clear this up here. Now we've got that established here. I'm just going to get these off so we can get a better look without the geometry on there. So first, th this, this, where we are here, well, let's see, what am I on, three hour? Let's go down to a one hour. So this looks more, you know, it's hard to, hard to get the subdivision just right here. You could make a case for a one, two. There's a one, two, three, could, three could be here. It's, it's, it's a bit of a guesstimate here. It looks like you can get three, three. So you may have had, oh, it's, it's, it's a bit of a guess here. It's what we've got because we don't have great subdivision here. Where's the three? You can make it, there is a little, there, there is, yeah, it's a diagonal. There's a little diagonal here in this, this move here from this pivot. There is a diagonal that would get us up to a, to a fifth here. So th this is a contender. It's still still a possibility. So in the, if that's the case, then the, the A is likely in. The B just went in. We're going to come down here. We're going to look for the C. 
ideally here we would stay in the in the tighter range up here between the 23 and the 38. That would be ideal. Then we'd make this push up here to go after that algo target. <clears throat> okay, and of course nothing says we have to stop there. Well, if that becomes the five and we get, uh, then it's still, could it still be a C? Well, of course it, yeah, of course it can. Right, so it can still be a C, but it's gonna start to look better as, as a potential, well in this case, if we hold here, it's gonna be an impulse. Now, of course we can finish the C with an impulse here. So if this, this certainly could be A, B, and then we're gonna get an impulse here. So that could still be the C, but we, we kind of back it up and look, well, how's that gonna look for the, for the larger count? Well, if we get here, so let's just for the sake of looking at it, let's, let's say we, we pivot here at the four. So we'd have to label this now as A, B, and we'll get, a, we'll get an impulse out of it. Again, assuming we don't overlap here. If we get this, well, we'd still very much have the possibility that we've just, we've just done an A, B, C with a little more of an extension in the C. So if you, if you look at it, just do the math or the, the, the fib swings. Get it right on there. Take it from the two. Well, no, this, if we get, well, you know, we're kind of shy of it here. So here, here's one thing that may be a tell. <clears throat> if we get through the algo target and we get, you know, let's get that off of there. If we get through the algo target, we get to the, to the 1618, 175, then the, there, there's, it, it sort of depends on, on how, do we, do we retrace before we're getting there or does, let me take this off. Or do, are we going to do it now? Right, is this the four that's gonna get us there? Then you might be able to look at this and think, maybe, maybe the three's here, the five's going higher, the four is still yet to come. Thread of hope for that, but we're gonna to need to see some price action here pretty quickly here because we're just stuck in this $100 range. And you can see this is common for Bitcoin to do. There's, there's the pump consolidation, pump consolidation, pump consolidation, it's just all over the place, both up and down. So it's, it's, it's a tough one. To, to make a call here. So how, the only way we're, we're definitively going to know, well, so first this will be, let's get that off here. So this will be a bit of a tell as to what, what direction we're going here. And if we start to roll over, which seems the most obvious thing to happen here. So I, I you know, you just look across the crypto Twitter or the Twitter sphere, you know, whoever, you know, other analysts and educators you follow, there is, generally an assumption here that we've stalled and that we're heading back down. Well, the more people I see leaning into that, the more I start to think more bullishly. But to really be definitive about this, if there's going to be a, a, a pullback here to set up a fourth, so if the three is in, if, if, if the three is in, well, this, this, this retrace is going to need to be relatively shallow. It's going to need to hold here to keep that looking stronger and stronger. Now, of course, we could just come to the 50. So we wouldn't invalidate here if we're gonna get a, just a straight algo retrace off of the pivot here. If we get that 50 and we still go, this still, we don't lose that we don't lose the impulse. So we still have the potential for the impulse here. Now, there are a few negatives as we stall here. Well, one, going back to the fib swings, if I just, oh, let's use this as the start of it. If I use the length of the one projected from the, Give me right on that two here. Well, we're, we're currently stuck between the 100 and the 127. More common, so I'm going to push this aside, more common to, if we stall there for an ABC. In fact, that would be the prime zone. You'd be looking for that C to finish is right in that pocket between those two. That's the highest probability, just like this would be for your wave three. So if we start, if we, if we can't get legs here and we start to roll over and we start to head down, that's gonna look a lot more like an ABC. I mean, it's still, yeah, there's a little subdivision. It's a little question mark here. Again, you know, five elitations probably give you five counts, five different counts there here. So what, there are going to be tells as we break out of this range because we're not gonna stay there. So because, because of that, because of the more uh, the range that we're in leaning us more into a C wave here, well, then you start thinking, well, what would be characteristic if we're running out of steam here? Well, let's just uh, take a look at some oscillators. So let me open this up just a little bit. Well, one, 
we'll bring this down here we can, so we can see this a little bit. Well, we've relieved, at least temporarily, so now I'm down here on a one hour, we've relieved that overbought status here that accompanied this, this push. As we stall here, we relieve that overbought status. So the RSI starts to come down. We, now we didn't make a full loop to, what do I have it here, on 30. We didn't make it to 30 and now we're hovering back. So the potential is here for this to just kind of, you know, wiggle around here and then kick up again. You don't have, I, I noted this here on, over on Twitter as well, we don't have classic divergence here. In fact, this is slightly higher here, but if it's going to play as a, as it, well, so if it's A and then this is the B and that's the C, well, then we do have just a, a whiff of divergence here. It's just barely, just enough here. Now this wouldn't, wouldn't, you wouldn't call that divergence because the, the proposed here as I have it labeled right, it remains to be seen if that's what it gets labeled. But that wouldn't be relative here because we don't have a new high here. So this being the higher high. So could, if this, if this kicks, that could be an indication that we put the four in here. So there's just so many ways to interpret this. But the biggest problem right now is that we're in a zone that's more typical for a C than for a three. So if this starts to weaken here, it's going to look more and more like this is an ABC and then the triangle comes back into play. Now there is, I did, I did show this over on, on Twitter here. And just to, again, I, I'm always looking for different ways to, to apply median lines here. So this seemed, it didn't seem that dramatically radical here. Let's get this right. You've got two of them here to play with, but this one, this is the absolute low. So I think that's what they're likely to use. Let me get this right on that. Okay. So so here, as we've just tagged the median line here, this is potentially resistance. So we, we hover here and we hold. Market may be, this is very common, the market will tag a median line, even though this is a somewhat of a non-traditional approach to it. We'll tag this, they'll, it's a bit of a decision. As the market decides, are we gonna, are we gonna start to pull down? Are we, gonna, are we gonna move away from it here? Now this, this would not be unreasonable here. We have natural potential, just that potential support here. Or are we gonna hover and then work towards the higher, the higher parallel? So this is a bit of a negative in that we've got this structural resistance here. And then as I had drawn it up previously, we have the more traditional looking here where we've got this intersection of all of that geometry. Now, additionally, from the, the, from the pivot up here, for looking at this as a candidate for for the what would be the a b c here d e so this you know for c to go and we're, we're through the golden zone seven eight six is still holding up here but this this whole this whole area here this all of this more characteristic of a c than of a three so hope remains there there's still the possibility that this has this has more legs in it, but if it starts to, you know, it's often common over a weekend, we'll see some volatility. If this starts to come down, well, here's the, you know, here's the pretty significant tell <clears throat> right here as to how we do. Well, there's a couple of them here. This will be significant. This will be significant. So as we just, just draw it up like we would, let's get all of this off of here. So now we've kind of identified potentially some of the reasons why we're stalling here. If we're going to draw it up as just looking for a relationship between the two, it, on the assumption, which we can't really be definitive about, that the that that if that's going to play as the third, that the third is in, and it's not going to be a C. If the third is going to come in here, and we're going to come down for the four, we well, you sure would want to see the fifty hold. So note we have this structure here, and we have the one relative to this move here. So this would be kind of the if we. I would really want to see this hold. If we can come out of that and get that, well, again, as I showed you earlier, that wouldn't eliminate the possibility that we're still just in a, we still just have that triangle coming here. You can see here, even still, we'd have, we'd still have the, the symmetry of a triangle. So if we start to come down, then it will be the same thing. So here's, here's how we're going to know here, just to try and wrap up. So if we look at that, and we, if we get this, big if, if we get this, Okay, how are we going to know whether it's a C or the one of the three? Well, you're not going to know until we see what happens at the next retreat. Now, this again, I do not have this. I don't know that that's the three. But if we follow this kind of a path and we get, in this case, what would be an impulse here, well, you could start to lean a little more bullishly here because the anticipation would be if, the, if this is going A, B, and then we're going into a C, you wouldn't expect an impulse here. Now, it could... 
Now, it, it could be an A, B, and a C is going to be at a higher level. We don't have to stay in a triangle here. We don't have to, and that, that still could be the four. But the bigger tell is going to be what happens on this retracement. Oop, that's not what I want. I want this. So if we come down here and we get an A, B, and C, and this holds as, as the 50, and then we start to go up, then you're going to start to get more and more people are going to start to get more and more bullish, myself included. So then the idea here is that the two could hold and we've just put in the one of the third relative to this two. Right? One, two, so this would, this would ultimately be, have got, ended up back here so that four wouldn't be in play here. So we'd have the potentially just the one wave. We wait for the retrace and then here's the tell. What, what, what happens right here? Do we come down in three and then get a push up to go up and challenge? Well, here would be the algo target. We'd be breaking that. So that's the area to be watching for. So first question is what happens as we come out of this consolidation? Which way are we going? If we do get the push up, and that's a big if, but if we do, then we wait to see what happens here. If we, get, if we come down here and we can come out of this strongly, even just the first algo target, then it's gonna to start to look more and more bullish and potentially reinforcing the idea that the long-term low is in, right? It's, we're not there yet, but that, that possibility remains alive. Now, if, this, if we stall here and we spend the weekend doing this, well, all bets are off. And then we just lock back into the ABC. We go back into the triangle and then we wait, wait for the next pivot. All right, okay, before I wrap up, just a reminder, we have this contest going on. So I spared you till the end of it. So if you can... Bear with me here for another 30 seconds. Just a reminder, the link will be underneath this video. So if you're interested in that contest that we're running, it's, you know, we're giving away $700 worth of uh, memberships at Trade Devils University. So if that interests you, you do have to register. Right? So, yeah, so that's, the, that's the link that you'll find underneath it. And then it's your, entrance are, your entries are tied to the number of likes, tweets, and reshares over on Twitter. So it really all focuses on Twitter. So if you see something you like, you share it, you get another entry. See something else you like, share it, retweet it. That's, that's two entries. So every time you tweet, like, share, that's going to give you a new entry, increase your probabilities of winning. All right. So it's a random drawing to be done on, the, on March 20th. All right, guys, I'll be back. We're looking at a couple of alts as well here, but that'll be it for Bitcoin. Okay. It's going to be interesting to see which way we go. Talk to you later, guys.